The real estate game is challenging, it's long, and can leave you in a bad place if you don't play it right. Let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Manuel Sanchez. I'm a real estate agent here in San Diego. And today we're gonna be navigating the real estate chessboard. So persistent, challenging, and turbulent are just a few words that describe the mortgage and housing market. Now, as we entered last year, the future of the economy, housing market and mortgage environment were extremely opaque with many questions circulating after the federal reserve hiked the federal fund rate at an unprecedented pace in 2022 picture the real estate industry's chessboard of uncertainty where critical questions loom like kings on the brink how high would the fed dare to elevate interest rates can the fed get the inflation genie back in the bottle Will the jobs market remain robust? Was the shadow of a recession looming on the horizon? And what happens to mortgage rates? Will home prices crash? And ultimately, what does it all mean for mortgage and housing demand? Now, although we may not have always been satisfied with the answers to those questions that develop throughout the course of the year, at least we now have answers that can leverage in our framework for understanding the path ahead in 2024. The Fed battling with inflation. The Fed is battling with inflation. Now, say what you will about the Fed, but everything starts and ends with the monetary policy decisions they set. Most of the time, critics are quick to call out the Fed for raising or cutting rates too late. However, the Fed has a tough job with much at stake for decisions they make. So of course, they want to measure twice and cut once by remaining data dependent in their actions. Well, so far, so good. Since peaking at 5.57% inflation in February 2022, it fell down to 3.6% in September of 2023, with the Fed projecting a further fall to 2.6% at the end of 2024, basically this year, before hitting their target of 2% by the end of 2026. While there is a lag between tightening financial conditions and labor market conditions, the jobs market remains resilient. The unemployment rate ticked up to 3.9% in October of 2023 from the near historical low of 3.4% set in April of 2023, and well below the unemployment rate, which is considered by most economists to be 5%. You would have to go back to the 1950s to find lower unemployment rate levels. Now, taking these indicators in combination means that the Fed has time to hold interest rates higher for longer, and that is exactly how market participants see things playing out in 2024. Now, going forward, we anticipate the spread to tighten once again with recent volatility in the bond market. Now, this is likely to diminish as the Fed shifts away from its rate hiking campaign. Housing market, a supply demand imbalance. The housing market can seem like a mystery at times, and 2023 certainly could be considered one of these times. Rising mortgage rates and a continued rise in home prices at the same time have pushed home buyer affordability to the lowest level ever witnessed. Now, between the beginning of July and the end of September, homes were affordable to families earning the U.S. median income of $96,000. Despite the deterioration in affordability that has seen a more than doubling in the medium monthly mortgage payment since the pandemic, the market has remained competitive all year long. And this was observed in various metrics such as days on market, percent of homes off the market in two weeks, percent of homes sold above list price, average sale to list price, number of competing offers, and month supply, just to name a few. The reason all goes back to the imbalance that exists in the marketplace between supply and demand. There are simply not enough homes for sale to meet demand, and I sound like a broken record. If you follow me on all social media platforms, I keep saying this over and over. Now, in October of 2023, the number of total homes for sale between new and existing stood at just 1.6 million below the pre-pandemic average of around 2 million and well below the all-time high of 4.6 million set during the Great Recession. Now, to meet supply demand imbalance, the market has 
shifted toward one that is relying more heavily on new home sales. Home builders have seen their share of total home sales rise from a low of just 4.9% in May of 2010 during the housing market crash to 17.9% in October of 2023, and from 5% in July of 2011 to 28.1% as the share of total home inventory. Heading into 2024, we expect more of the same. Home sales are to remain near current levels while housing affordability remains a limiting factor for many. Buyers would be wise to hang in as the market remains supply constrained while home builders attempt to fill the gap. How? Well, by continuing to build and offer incentives to make the mortgage math work for prospective buyers. Home prices, no big correction on the horizon. Nationally, we expect home prices to level off as the market still has strong demographically driven demand with much of the US population approaching the prime age for home buying. Of course, some markets will drop slightly and some will rise as local economies will ultimately determine the fate of their market's home price trajectory. We expect market competition in desirable markets to remain steady, especially at the lower end of the home prices or entry level homes. We are expecting an annual home price growth rate for 2024 in the 4% range. So buyers waiting for a significant home price correction are very likely to be disappointed. In addition, we may see lenders loosen their guidelines and improve credit availability to attract prospective home buyers in 2024. Mortgage loan performance remains pristine with mortgage delinquency rates and distressed property sales near all time low. This is why we're not seeing foreclosures, pre foreclosures, uh, real estate owned properties, or I'm sorry, bank owned properties, because in the end, the desire to own a home is strong and has stood the test of time. Home ownership is and has always been the biggest ticket to wealth creation and the backbone of household finances. We don't anticipate that changing in 2024.